Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, November 21st, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I know we got a nice surprise for us for the long weekend and that's a critical patch for Flash Player. And this patch addresses a vulnerability. It was described about a week ago by Gil Daba, a researcher from Israel. And there's sufficient detail in the blog describing this vulnerability to make a widespread exploitation of this vulnerability very likely. So if at all possible on Wednesday, you probably do want to patch this vulnerability or maybe you have enough of uh, staff over the long weekend to take care of it. But this is something that you really need to expedite. If you haven't already uninstalled Adobe Flash Player, but remember Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge also need to be patched. And yes, patches are available for both uh, because they come with Adobe Flash Player pre-installed. Also, for those of you heading to family over the long weekend and being pulled into various IT duties, certainly make sure that this patch is applied, then uninstall or disable Adobe Flash Player. I would always first apply the latest version before I then uninstall or disable it. Sounds a little bit uh, counterproductive to first update, then uninstall, but you never really are sure if you're removing all all components. That's why I prefer to first update in particular with systems like family systems where they later than may again enable or download Adobe Flash Player. And sticking here with the holiday weekend for another story, the Emotet malware apparently is now using email messages that are enticing users to open the attachment by claiming it's a thank you message for Thanksgiving. So if you're seeing any of these emails, of course, don't open the attachment. And by the way, it looks like that Emotet now also comes with a new payload that allows the exfiltration of email subjects and the first 16 kilobytes of the body. Maybe that's what they're trying to use also to figure out better messages, better lures in order to get people to open these attachments. Well, and that's it for today. So not too much other than this Adobe thing ahead of the long weekend. We have our European handlers holding down the fort for the weekend. So someone will be here. And if you do see any exploits in particular for the Adobe uh, issue, then uh, please uh, send us a copy. I will be back on Monday with the next podcast. So thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.